It's a battle of the Redhawks in the second round. Marist and their potent running game led by QB Mike Market and running back Billy Skalinski storm into Naperville Central to take Peyton Thorne, who has terrorized defenses all season long. Early in the first, after a Danny Hughes fumble, Billy Skalitsky takes the handoff and fouls his blocks as he takes it 24 yards down to the three-yard line. He scores on the next play, 7-0 Maris. Central response. Peyton Thorne rolls out right and floats one up to Cade McDonald, and he makes the defender miss before hitting his stride and taking it 32 yards across midfield. Inside the red zone, Thorne finds Danny Hughes in the backfield, and he scampers into the end zone to even the game at 7, heading to the second quarter. 10-7 now, Maris. Central facing third and eight, and Thorne finds Sam Jackson in the middle of the field for 15 yards and a first down. Inside the red zone, and Thorne tells Sam Jackson to go up and get it as the sophomore comes down with it in the end zone to put Central at 14-10, with seven and a half to go in the second quarter. Maris looks to answer. They give to Jaden Thompson on the jet sweep, and he does the rest going 23 yards to the touchdown, and the Maris Redhawks retake the lead 17-14. Peyton Thorne and the central offense storm down the field. Thorne rolls out right and fires a dart to his favorite target, Cade McDonald, for the touchdown. And now the Naperville Central Redhawks are up 21-17 with 3.42 to go until halftime. But on the ensuing possession, Mike Market keeps on the option, goes up the middle, hits a wall of defenders and then bounces it to his right and he's off to the races. Nobody will catch him as he goes 63 yards to the house and Maris goes back on top 24-7. Central goes back to work on their next possession. Thorne hits Cade McDonald on the slant for 25 yards and a first down. Ball at the nine and Thorne calls on McDonald's number once again as he hauls in the nine yard touchdown pass to put Central up 28-24 at halftime. Maris doesn't waste any time retaking the lead in the third. Mike Market drops back and takes a shot for Jaden Thompson and he hauls it in for the 37 yards and the Maris touchdown as they lead Central 31-28. Peyton Thorne goes back to doing what he's done all year on the next drive as he hits Jared Suchovitz for 17 yards and that will move the chains. Inside the five, Thorne hits Danny Hughes in the backfield and he drags a defender to the goal line and dives into the end zone for the touchdown and the Naperville Central Redhawks lead 35-31. Maris backed up to their own 11 after the ensuing kickoff, but Billy Skalinski changes the field position as he bursts his way 24 yards to the 35 for a first. 35-31, Central heading to the fourth quarter. Three minutes remaining and Skalinski plunges his way into the end zone for the go-ahead score as the Maris Redhawks lead 38-35. Central facing fourth and four in their own territory and Thorns pass falls incomplete looking for Jared Suchovitz, and that will seal the game as Maris steals the thriller by the skin of their teeth. We felt good coming into it. We knew we had a good offense and they had a good offense, and we believed in our defense, and they did a great job. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete the passes I needed to in the second half and get it done for us. We knew, we knew for sure, 100%, throughout the week it was going to be a shootout. Maris was a great team, so we knew it was going to be a shootout. So. But we just couldn't, just couldn't finish. Before the play, Peyton Thorne said he was coming to me, and he came to me, and I made a great catch, and it was a great throw, and we scored a touchdown, and it was exciting. We were coming out the second half just thinking, do what we've been doing, do what was working, and uh, we were pounding the rock, and our O-line was doing a great job, opening up good holes for Billy and myself, and Billy took advantage of it, and we punched one in. It was great, man. Our defense, they held their own in the second half. Offense, we just kept pushing the O-line. It was incredible tonight. Billy and Mike ran their butts off tonight, so just tops off to them. I guess on paper it looked like it was probably going to be one of those kind of games that was going to end up being a high-scoring game. You hoped it wouldn't because those aren't always the funnest to play in, but, um, you know, it turned into that, and, um, you know, I thought both teams, you know, both teams' defenses, I think, played well at times, too, and both offenses just had a lot of weapons out on the field and were able to make some plays, and, um, I think there was one turnover in the game. I think we had, what, the first possession of the game, and after that there wasn't any, and, um, you know, this really came down. It was a one-possession game. Well, in the first half, I mean, we felt like we were we could score every time we had it. We gave it away one time, a fumble, um, but every other time we scored, and we thought we could come out here 
and do the same thing. And they brought some pressure early on, and credit to them. I mean, they're a good defense, but uh, just uh, didn't play well enough to, to get it done.